Hello, I am Blue Sax Player, and I am showing you my first jungle video today. Actually, Jungle Nocturne. So let's go. Um, yeah, right. So this is Summoner's Rift, obviously, because jungling on Summoner's Rift works so much better. Um, right. Yeah, sorry for the frame drops. Actually, I'm not completely sure what's causing them. Let me check my graphics. This is odd. I'll turn the graphics down. There we are. Much better. Okay. Right. Hmm. Still dropping a bit. Oh well. Right. Firstly, I say here in the chat box, can I have a pull? Very important. I like to start a blue buff. And, um. Well. Yeah, obviously the manual generation. And as you can see there, they clairvoyance us. So I think, okay, they're going to invade our blue. So I decide to sit here in this bush. Hope we don't. Oh, we see Lux come along. So Garen. Garen's deciding that I run off. But then realise that Lux is just going to sit in that bush. So. Hi, Tia. They still think I'm on my own. So I sit here. Garen comes along. And we, um. Just focus down a couple more. Ignite him to make sure I get the kill, and then flash in. We then actually... Wukong actually then shows up, so... I run for my life. Garen gets away just because, you know, he's Garen. Fizz... Kind of didn't contribute much, which is good enough. But otherwise he probably would have died in the process. Um... Yeah, so... First blood on your jungler. Really good. Especially on jungle Nocturn. He can clear really fast anyway. So I... Go back... I buy boots of speed. Wait for that one second, just get 75 and get a ward. An um, then, yeah, Garen, being really nice, waits around for me and decides to stick around so he can give me a leash, which is good. You want to start with that blue on Nocturne if you have someone to pull it for you. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying I'm an expert on jungling, I'm not saying I'm any good at jungling, this is just a game I did quite well and hopefully will demonstrate um, you guys how to do it. So, my runes, I think I have, let's have a look, armor penetration, I have 28 armor penetration, I have, from, I don't have all the runes, so, or all the runes I need, I'm like one quit SS off, so, I have... 28 armor penetration, I should have about 31 because masteries give you 6 and runes give you 25. Um, I have magic resist per level blues and armor pen, yeah, armor pen reds, magic, yeah, armor pen reds and quintessences, magic resist per level blues and armor on yellows. That's kind of the standard. Magic resist is quite good for the late game. Especially when we're playing against Fizz, who's late game damage is good. Lux, magic, magic. It's pretty useful. So yeah, start at blue. Get that blue buff. Go to wolves. Go to wraiths. Come down to golems. Remember to keep using potions in between to keep your health up. Um, because I've got blue buff, you can actually just use unspeakable horror on a golem or something. Um, really, because I had boots, I could have got level 2 and straight away ganked, but the lanes weren't really pushed at all, apart from top actually. So yeah, a kill the last golem, def recall, probably buy, I'm not sure what I buy, let's see, I buy dagger, yeah, because when I get red buff I can keep applying that slow, which is really useful. Alright, let's just speed this up a bit, don't really do much, do 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 do, speed up a bit more. Alright, now I notice that top lane is pushed, and Garen's obviously on his own, because they don't have a jungle, so top lane is pushed, so I'll sit in this bush here, wait for the opportunity to go for a gank, so. I'm actually talking to Garen on a headset, which is really useful, so I see Wukong dash in, I think, okay, now is when I want to go in to kill, and we easily kill him. We really easily kill him. Yeah. With the jungler around, they also didn't realise you meant to kind of back off, be careful. I don't know. Really easy to get that kill, so. I mean, I know Garen's on low health, but we're kind of now I've given him the advantage. I don't know whether Garen's going to go back, so I stick around, but 
Garen stays around because if you look at his health, his passive regenerates his health at some incredible speed. Yeah, so I go to go around the back to get Lux, but as you can see, she can level against me, so I decide to just steal their golems. Yeah. Really, what I should do is I should go into this, um, go into this bush here, and so if someone comes to attack me while I'm stealing golems, they won't um, see me. But because I don't have a jungler, I just think, why not just take their red buff as well? So, you know, <laughs> wait for dust rings to come up, then I start attacking red. Yeah, that armor penetration, is so useful. I mean. He's got 24 armor, I have 28 armor penetration, so I'm actually going through his armor. I'm doing 105, no, wait, 105 damage per hit while standing on the trail. And the trail gives me an extra... Wait, well, it did give me 25 back then. So I'm actually doing more than the damage listed here, which is really, really good. Wukong's a complete idiot, pushes up again, so... Um... No, I was going to go for a gank, then I realised, you know, Garen's low on health, probably not a good idea. So, I see that mid lane, Fizz is pushed up. So we walk in, I walk in, I just ping Fizz, tell Fizz to go and go for a kill. Yeah, he jumps in, I Q. Sadly, that didn't really work. I don't know why he throws the fish. Yeah, it didn't really do much. I mean, I was trying to force a flash or something, but Fizz just used his tricks to, to get out of there. Go to Wraith. Play Wraith. I mean, what I'm doing is I'm trying to pressure the lanes. I can't really pressure bottom lane because our two characters down here are just pushing. But by pressing the lanes, it makes your opponents feel more scared. And they don't want to push up as much. You don't want to go in for the last hits because they might think the jungler's sitting there waiting for them. I go to steal blue, but what I do is I stand in this bush. So if someone comes in down here, I can always um, see them. Or if they come in from above, I really should be standing there. So when they come down, I can see them so I don't get caught. Steal blue, and I get my ultimate. Which is very important, considering Nocturne, when he gets his ultimate, is what makes him such a great jungler. Alright, I have enough money for um, Madrid's razors now, so I go back and get them. I'm going to speed the video up a bit. Get Madrid's razors, get a health potion just because they're useful, get a ward, place it down here for Garen, because he's got two people so he's got to be careful. So yeah, they go in. I ultimate onto Lux, because Lux is the most important target, because she can stand back and just snare people and we kill her really fast. Garen with that kind of innate tankiness, he hasn't even got back yet. He just kind of stands there and takes damage and doesn't die. So it's very useful to have him on the team. Wukong is, does realise that we're in the bush, especially when Garen walks across here. <laughs> so I decide to just go and help clear the minions. And do we get a couple points? No, we don't. I just, yeah, just back off and notice that Fizz just got a kill on our Fizz mid lane. So I go around the back instead of through. Use my Q, fear, everything. The fear hits him just as he would use Trickster. Sadly, he gets away. But he decides to recall right next to the tower. So I so I just run right up to him, right up to him, Q, and then attack, and then flash out to make sure I don't get killed by the tower. I mean, I'm not sure if I need the flash, but always best to be safe. I just wanted to get that kill on Fizz since he had more kills against ours, so I wanted to get mid lane back into our favour. So then I go back by Riggle's Lantern, oh, Blitz is teleporting him, um, run up to our Blue buffs, it's fine, about to run out. Mine does run out, kill blue. Go back mid lane again, it's the top lane. Luck seems to have backed off, they might have a ward or something. Nothing much happens. Um, Garen runs into the bush to see where Lux is. I kind of blow all my spells on the fake Wukong. 
I ultimate onto him and nearly kill him. 70 health. So pretty close. That's a bit sad that didn't work. But if I had if I'd waited before I knew which clone was the real one, I probably would have got the kill, so. By playing against Wukong, don't just fear him. The moment you know that he's once you see him walking, fear him while he's moving, because then well, even when he turns invisible the fear will stick on him. So yeah, um I kind of wait around here to see if Lux is still here. I kind of potentially exists and hits the tower hit the tower a few times. Clear all those minions. Nocturne's great at clearing minions. It's just a, a tower really. Because you can't really do that much damage to be honest. But not against me, considering that we've actually I've managed to be pressure top lane. She's only got twenty last hit twenty eight last hits. Because she doesn't want to walk up to the minions in case I'm standing there and then we'll kill her. Is this what a jungle is all about? It's not so much about going around and get killing everyone or just farming the jungle, it's to do with scaring your opponents. Right, actually, what I said earlier about waiting until the you've seen the clone, I don't think that actually works considering it didn't work and we come to send. He's a complete idiot, walks into the bush, stab him a few times. He decides to turn back on me, don't know why, so I kill him. Um, Riggle's Lantern gives me some incredible life steal. I get all, I get all but one of the last hits. Use my last health potion just to make sure I've got some health so I can push down the tower a bit more. So even with Lux there, I'm still getting the tower pretty low on health. Me and Lux, me and Garen just run and pretend that Lux doesn't even exist. I'm just pushing the lane here because I want um, the tower down. It does get killed. Kill some golems. I'm waiting around because my ultimate has the range to where Lux is standing. So I don't know whether I, we should use it in turret dive or not. But then Wukong comes in. Wukong thinks it's a 2v1 fight. Obviously it's not. Completely destroy him. Wriggle's Lantern is good because it means that you can um You can um, just kill some minions to get your health back. I forget about Fizz's shark and it kills me. I forget that he has it. I think, oh, I'll just flash out and it'll be alright. I should have backed off straight away, waited for Garen to take the damage and then ultimately back in. Our Fizz shows up, decides to yeah help Garen with the kill, kill Fizz easily. I buy a BS sword and Vampire Acceptor, so now I have what? 30% life steal. It's also good in fights against other people. But yeah, BS sword while standing on this. I'm doing 234 damage to each minion, and I had about 210 attack damage while standing on it, so I'm doing more than the damage listed. So that's why you, that's why you get armor penetration runes. If you have the money for them. I don't know whether I can actually beat Fizz in the fight, so I decided just to back off. I'm not sure, I don't want to risk it. It's probably best not to. Now that towers towers down, being kind of around here can kind of counter as overextending. But once again, because I don't have a jungler, I go around to their red buff. I have so much life steal that whenever it deals damage to me, I just stab it with my arm blades and it, and I get my health back. Now this is quite a dangerous move on my part because I don't know where <laughs> either the two enemies are. I kind of walk here without knowing. Um, so go in this bush. I think that they're down here somewhere, and I don't want to walk out of this two v two v one fight. So I kind of stick around to be safe. Turns out they're both down here, so I instantly start walking down. Wait till my ultimate's in range. Wait, see Lux in range, instantly use ultimate. Fly in, they probably didn't need my help, but just to ensure the kill, I use this anyway. But yeah, we pretty much 
pretty much got this game from now on. Um, 25 KD. Fed Nocturne is something that's quite hard to deal with. Not much really happens from now. Um, I kill loads of minions just to demonstrate how good Nocturne is farming. I have the most last hits in the game at this point. And I have most kills as well, so you know. Um, I see Sin Zhao is trying to stop me from taking blue, so I just decide to kill him. Blitzcrank gets a good pull on Viz, but no one manages. Oh no, do we manage to? Yeah, they managed to pull it up, which is really good on Blitzcrank's part, actually. Good job by him. Um, I can see Wukong the whole time there. I don't know if he can see me, but, you know, he decides to back off. Maybe he can't see me, he thinks he can't beat me in a fight, which is true. But, you know, he just turns up anyway, so I just fear him. Start attacking. Hitting... Oh, my red buff is just hitting 40s over time, which is quite cool. Yeah, I think this... I think this game just gets surrendered. Let's have a look. Yeah, it agrees to surrender. So yeah, with good lane kind of presence, you can scare people from getting the last hits, you can get more powerful and win pretty easily. And that's my advice. Nocturne is very good at ganking over everything, so use that to your advantage. Yeah, thanks for watching.